Let's do the pH range experiment using indicators, which tell you the range of pH between 0 and 14. And then we'll see how they change colors along the Roy G. Biv, R-O-Y-G-B-I-V, light spectrum. And we can see uh, whether the pH is low, meaning is it between 0 and 6.9, or is it neutral between, well, 7, or is it uh, alkaline or basic between 7.1, or anything above 7, all the way to 14. That would be a high pH, meaning lots of OH and not very much hydrogen, whereas a low pH would indicate that there was a lot of hydrogen and not very much OH. So let's look at what we've got to work with. We've got indicators, as I mentioned, and an indicator is the thing that's going to tell us where we are in the range. So I'm going to show you there's methyl orange. That's our first one. The next one is brom thymol blue. Brom thymol blue. And then we've got phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein. Let me call it PTH uh, for now until we see a hormone called PTH. But for this lab, you can call phenolphthalein PTH. Please know uh, that it is not just PTH. And then we've got a universal indicator, the universal indicator there. And you might ask yourself, why would we need a universal indicator when we've got these other three? Well, this one, the methyl orange and the bromthymol and the phenolphthalein are going to detect sections of the pH scale, meaning this will be one section is in one range of numbers, this will be another, this will be another. The universal indicator, on the other hand, would give us the entire range between 0 and 14. And so it might be a faster way to do it, but it might not be as specific.